Hey guys, welcome to episode 43 for the 5th of June. Remember to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and leave a comment or even just your favourite emote for engagement. Um, follow me on X and TikTok as Technofish Live. And if you want to discuss this or any of the videos, feel free to drop by my live streams from around 10 o'clock pm here on YouTube. If you want early access to all of my videos and get exclusive content, why not become a member of the channel? Um, all money's generated will go back into the channel to try and sort of increase the quality and things like that. So we'll be very grateful for that. Uh, let's hit the news and see what's been going on, shall we? Firstly, I got an email the other day um, regarding game rewards points. It looks like the slow death of the retail giant, as it was, uh, game is continuing. The program's shutting down, so after July you'll no longer be able to earn or spend your points. Um, basically, they've give you till the 14th to earn them, and then the end of the month to spend them on whatever you want. Follow. This is following news that they stopped taking in and selling pre-owned games a lot of the stores closed down and they've got like little franchise things in the back of sports directs and stuff like that and it's all a bit sad really i mean it's a it's a bit of funny really because like i don't really use it to be honest the last time i went there was when i got my xbox and my playstation i actually went to the launch day event and managed to get one the pre-orders um so that was a few years back now most of the time i tend to just go to cex or whatever i'm just looking for something but yeah it, it is a shame there were like one of the stalwarts on the high street um for a long time i think they bought out a lot of the competition the likes of eb and stuff like that all sort of vanished um but yeah it's, it's a bit of a it looks like it's coming to an end i've got a feeling they'll probably just end up being an online only retail i like a lot of the clothing brands now but we'll see what comes of that um we'll keep you posted with that in the meantime more bad news by well, bad press for video games as it looks like the parents of victims of an american shooting are trying to sue call of duty along with the gun companies and meta and things like that as well but um it seems strange that Obviously, video games are the bad guys. Um, a lot of people jumping on the bandwagon of this, and it seems to come around every couple of years. It's always some if it's not Grand Theft Auto, it's Call of Duty or whatever, just causing headlines for the sake of headlines. Will they sue movie companies and booksellers and podcasts and things? I very much doubt it. It seems a bit shit that video games get the bad press all the time but um there are other media outlets out there where people can access even worse content than what you get in the likes of call of duty and stuff but people be people i guess speaking of call of duty there'll be a world premiere of blob six on sunday afternoon i believe there's this xbox expo and it's the first time in the franchise's history that it's going to launch on release on xbox game pass for people who own the game pass so it could be interesting there's been a lot of interest in they are good at what they do with the whole viral merchandising and stuff like that with all the cryptic clues they hide and all the websites you've got to hunt around and the treasure hunts and stuff to try and find out more details and stuff it is pretty clever how they do all that sort of stuff to be fair to them um but there will be a big launch come sunday and that follows us on the back of sony's conference uh the state of play which was pretty poor state of play to be honest and it launched with an insight into Concord, which just looks like another Overwatch ripoff, um, matched with the Pound Shop version of Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know. I don't get it. But uh, it, there may be a market for it. The other selling point was it's got some Bungie guys doing some of the development, which may make it a worthwhile game to play. But I've got a feeling it's too little, too late for this now. Um, it's a bit. 
oversaturated, shall we say, the market now, especially because the the Marvel ones coming out on the PlayStation next month as well. Um, that was a, launched alongside an announcement that God of War Ragnarok's coming to PC. But the thing with that is, again, it's gonna include a, you need a PSN network account to log in to play the game so again similar to what the issues I had with l divers a lot of people aren't going to be able to play the game basically um, a lot of people who couldn't get a playstation were looking forward to playing it on the pc and now they're not going to be able to because it's going to be region locked and they're not going to be able to get it where they live anyhow um but i can't remember the exact number i'm sure it was about 170 countries where people couldn't access the games and which is why the whole l divers uproar came about but yeah so that's been announced that's coming soon uh they also announced a new dynasty warriors which is just more button mashing mayhem um doesn't really do a lot for me these games i never really got into them but that's coming soon there was a couple of vr games announced actually um one of which was alien and it, it looked quite creepy actually i think that'd be quite decent to play to be honest um if i wasn't so much of a wuss and if i had 300 quid for a vr i might give it a go but i think that'd be quite a good experience to be honest um there was i don't know if it's a remake or a remaster or a soft reboot but until dawn got featured i never played the original so i don't know if this is the same characters and it's just a remaster or what but um it's just called until dawn so whether it's the first one again that looks like rami malik um yeah be i might give them a go actually i am looking for some scary type games to play and that might feature so we might give that a look at some point there was an announcement of Path of Exile 2. It's like the original was free to play. I'm assuming this one will be. Apparently it's the the game that took down the likes of Baldur's Gate and Diablo and stuff. Um, it's meant to be a better version of and it's free. So I know it did well, the first one. I never actually give it a look. I think I tried it once on the PlayStation or something, but I never really got into it. Um, they did announce also Silent Hill 2 Remake, or Remaster, is coming out for around spooky season, Halloween-ish. They were creepy games. Um, we might have to give that a visit as well, we'll see, if I can get the nerve to play it. Monster Hunter Wilds was announced. Never really played the Monster Hunter games, never been my kind of thing, but I know there is a a lot of people looking forward to that one and then the last game which is a bit, bit of a surprise really astro bot um on the ps5 when you get your ps5 there was a free sort of demo game which sort of showed off all the stuff you could do with a controller and all its effects and things like that and it was really cleverly done it was like a platformer with a little robot you were running around and there was a lot of homages from like playstation one era all the way through the ps5 a lot of the scenery and a lot of the effects were like based around the uis and stuff off the all the old platforms and things it was really nostalgic and nice to play to be honest but it looks like he's getting a full game now um not so much based around playstation world but it looks more like a mario i think they're trying to make this guy the new mascot which fair play to them i mean it does look really nice it looks fun I'm sure kids will enjoy it so fair play to them for that Next up, Ubi. They've been up to the usual things. They're holding their own event on Monday too. I'm not really expecting a lot. Probably going to be a lot more Star Wars Outlaws footage. We'll probably see the full game before it comes out. Um, obviously, they announced Assassin's Creed Shadows, which has been a lot of uproar about. I wonder if they'll backtrack or revisit some of that and see what's going on there. And the only other real game is Skull of Bones. I think there's going to be... Act 2 starting soon, so I've got a feeling there might be something coming on the back of that. Obviously this is all on the back of Ubisoft causing havoc at the Rainbow Six event in Manchester. 
uh, where they announced the Battle Pass thing. Well, it's not a Battle Pass, it's a monthly subscription where you get the Battle Pass and other stuff. But there was hell on. All the crowd, I mean, there were quite a vocal crowd anyhow. I did comment on this prior. They were a pretty vocal bunch. The atmosphere was mental for the final. But when they brought this up, apparently all the crowd in Manchester was starting chanting Robin Bastards and booing them and picking up a fuss and that. So, fair play to them, but they're actually getting the voices heard. So it'll be, I kind of see them pulling it now. But we'll see what comes of it. But I, I kind of see them doing much. I think it's coming out regardless. Where it's like a $10 monthly subscription where you get the battle pass, you get 10 unlocks and a few other little bits and pieces, but it's not really worth what you're paying for it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, there, there was quite a bit of outrage around that. And then lastly, speaking of Robin Bastards, that brings us to Riot. They announced a $500 skin bundle for League of Legends. That is obscene, absolutely obscene. Even by the Valorant standards, that is like a whole new level. I don't even know how they can justify it. Where there's like a tier, there's like a a cheaper version of it, which is still three hundred dollars, and it's mental. Uh, apparently, you do get like the full battle pass, and you get it all unlocked instantly. But still, like really, that's a lot of money for a skin. And in the three hundred version, you don't even get all the effects or anything like that. It's just like a, a toned down version. It was all made for a, one of the big players, um, Guy Faker. But he doesn't even use skins in game, apparently. So uh, I don't know what's going on there. But um, again, vote with your wallet and don't buy it. And that brings us to Valorant. Uh, the VCT's down to the last four. Uh, we've got G2 against Gen G. In the upper bracket, and 100 Thieves take on Heretics in the lower. Should be some good games. Um, I've got a feeling Gen G will be too much for G2, the way they've been playing. I think they'll walk it, but the Heretics have done well, but Thieves done well in the last game as well. So it'll be interesting. That, that should be a, a cracking game to watch. Um, as far as I'm aware, they both play on Friday morning, so I'll be probably doing a watch along for them. For the both games hopefully um assuming nothing comes up in the meantime and i get pulled away doing other stuff um but that's the intention um uh, do a watch along of those two games and then obviously it's the the lower final on saturday and then the big final on sunday where they're doing the reveal of the new map um when a team of chinese um content creators and i'm assuming pros take on content creators and pros from the rest of the world i'm assuming they'll have a few hours practice before the game they can sort of know, learn bits of the map and stuff being a show game um so we'll look forward to seeing what that's all about but yeah that's pretty much the news for this week um hope you found it insightful if you do um remember to sub to the channel and be, why not become a member if you can um as i said you will get early access to all of my videos and you'll also get exclusive content if you do so hit the thumbs up on this video and like i said if you want to have a chat either leave your feedback in the comments or if you'd rather come to one of my live streams and have a chat i've, I've sort of missed a few lives over the last week or so because i've got a lot going on behind the scenes but i'm hoping to get back onto a full program and be on most nights now so I look forward to chatting with you then. In the meantime, guys, have a good one. And I shall catch you next time. Thanks for watching.